What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. We have another trending news for you today, and the headline here read: Fresh trouble for Shomole as party chieftain threatened to spill his secret. All right. Um, before we go into uh, the news analysis, please, if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos on our channel, there is a red subscribe button below this video. Just go ahead, hit that red subscribe button, click the bell icon beside it to stay updated whenever we publish news like this without you missing any news again. Alright, here are the news and details. There seems to be more trouble coming the way of the embattled national chairman of the APC, Mr. Adams Oshomole. None report that the chieftain of the APC, Alhaji Kabiru Arjoto, vowed on Sunday that he will stage a massive Oshomole must go protest nationwide early in the new year. I am championing a massive Oshomole must go protest which will kick off ne early next year with thousands of collaborators across the 36 states of the federation, Arjoto told party members at this country room in. Ikakumo in Igbaralan in Edo. The protest will be unabated until Oshomole Honorable resigns before he buries, he buries the APC, said Ajoto, the immediate past speaker of Edo State House of Assembly. The APC chieftains, who is currently the APC advisor, which is currently the special advisor, sorry, to Governor Godwin Obaseki, said he will soon open a can of worms that will seal the political fate of Oshomole. According to him, the can of worms, when opened, will make Edo people to stone the former Edo governor who is currently battling his political survival in the ruling APC in Edo. As I promised a few months ago, I am vigorously set to open horrible can of worms that will make Edo people to stone Oshomole on the street as we enter the new year. Ajoto, however, did not disclose the sins of Oshomole that will make the masses to rise against their former two-term governor. Ajoto also spoke on the speculation that Obaseki was planning to defect to the PDP, describing the speculation as baseless. The governor will enjoy the privilege of first ref refusal during the forthcoming APC governorship primaries as enjoyed by Shomole in 2012, he stated. The former, governor, the former speaker noted that the APC national chairman was driving himself into irredeemable political oblivion because of sheer greed and hypocrisy. He stressed that Shomole had played God severally by hypocritically reversing himself on principles that fetch him enormous political fortunes. Oshomole became governor on the heels of fighting godfatherism and the tenet of one man and the tenet of one man, one vote. He has now turned himself into not just a godfather but an untamed emperor who is fully out to ruin the gains of democracy. He has also a different fora ridiculed the nation's judiciary which gave him the ladder to climb to power, Ajoto stated. All right, guys, uh, this is very serious. Um, this is a very serious knock for Oshomole. Um, one of his close confidants and somebody who is very close to him are threatened to spill Oshomole's can of worm. Though this man have not actually stated Oshomole since. I think from next year, he is going to state the particular scene, you understand me, that Oshomole is hiding. You get it? So that is what he is stating. And, um, you know, there have been problems in APC. If you study APC, let me zero in on a those state because that is a home of Oshomole. Oshomole had been a two-term governor in a, a those state. You understand me? He came at the time when nobody least no when, when we in fact nobody had expected him to become the governor because as then pdp ruled in a do state so people didn't actually expect him to win and he won during the time of good luck jonathan you get and that was then it was acn party apc was not even in power as at that time so now there have been a lot of problems both him and obaseki had been at loggerheads you get these two people 
Obaseke is the governor of Edo State. He succeeded Adams Oshomole. Why Adams Oshomole is the current national chairman of APC. Adams Oshomole, Adam, I think what Obaseke is trying to accuse him of is um, trying to godfather the politics of Edo State. And that is what has brought both of them into a very serious you know, clash. Because Obaseke is trying to resist Oshomole's godfatherism. Why Oshomole, in the other hand, is trying to deny you understand me that he has not actually done in fact both of them have 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 watched their dirty linings and the public you get and the person who is really standing to really lose is oshomole himself because if you look at it um oshomole have been suspended at the world level in a state so and because of that he doesn't have power in Edo politics of APC, he doesn't have that power again. And even the EPM, another faction of it, uh, APC in Edo, you get, they have been reduced to very serious minority. In fact, they are a non-entity. As of yesterday, Abaseki said that what that the suspension of Oshomole at the world level of you know Edo APC was at the instance of Mr. President that. Bwari is aware of it. That in fact, it was Bwari that authorized them to suspend Oshomole. That is what Obaseki said. And you know, if they suspend you at what level, you have no political, you know, grounds in the state again. And that was what happened. That that was why you see when Oshomole came in, you get to try to um, assert dominance in Edo politics. He came in to hold a rally to welcome. PDP defectors. The police told him, no, you don't have that that right. The police stopped him and according to the report, he was placed under a house arrest. Though the faction of a, um, um, Oshomole, Oshomole actually de de uh, denied it that he wasn't placed under house arrest. But what we know was that that rally did not hold that actually welcomed, you know, PDP defectors. It didn't hold. And what they did was that they now welcomed those people in Oshomole's house. So, but the, the, the rally in itself did not hold because Governor Basaki canceled any rally in the state within that period of time. He canceled it. And you know what surprised him? Not just the commissioner of police in the state that actually barred Oshomole. This one, the directive came from the IG. So, and, the, and the, at the point in time, Oshomole was suspecting complicity between Obaseke and, you know, and uh, IGP. He was suspecting Completely, but I looked at it when I studied the situation. You know, before IG comes into a case, that case must be of a national interest. IG don't just come into you know state matters like that. It doesn't. They have the commissioner that's already there. You get it. so. But if you look at what happened, it seems as if this directive to actually bar Oshomole came from above, and that actually confirms what Obaseki said that the suspension of Oshomole had the backing of Buhari himself. You know that if you study the politics and what has been, what the crisis that have been happening in APC and especially in Edo State, you discover that a lot of governors are not happy with Oshomole. They are not happy with him. In fact, the Secretary General of the Governors Forum spoke out. I forgot the name of the man. He spoke out. That was two months ago, and condemned Oshomole. He said that, in fact, when he was speaking, we had a earlier thought that it was um it was he was speaking the mind of the gov governors, but later on he actually debunked that he is speaking his own mind. You get and indirectly to he said he's speaking the mind of the governor though, though not officially and formally but he's indirectly speaking the minds of the governor because people are not happy with Oshomole's style of leadership in fact o Oyego dis described Oshomole's style of leadership as Agbero's style many people have actually accused Oshomole as being a PDP stooge which uh, to me, I don't actually see it to be that way. He's not PDP stooge. It is only his dictatorial tendencies that is causing a lot of problem in APC, leading to many factions, you know, uh, erupting everywhere in different states. Like the one of Rivers. Look at why Rivers lost out. You get me? Why we took advantage of Rivers, you know, APC weakness was because of this faction of 18, this faction issue. You get 
so that thing became a very serious problem and what wiki did was to use that weakness to actually do what to kill them so that is what happened so a lot of people have been accusing oshomole and oshomole is now backing down they've told him to resign several times he has not even his own deputy the apc deputy national deputy chairman accused oshomole but oshomole got the end of his national working committee to suspend his deputy and they did so he has these dictatorial tendencies and people do not like it and already oshomole has a case on ground already he has a case on ground with dss DSS last year 2018, that was when uh, Daura was the director of DSS. They accused Oshomole of, you know, they accused him of, you understand me, collecting bribe up to the tune of 50 million US dollars from different, you know, governorship aspirants. So I don't want to go into that, but what we are looking here is that this man has threatened to spill the can of worm. We don't know this can of worm that he wants to spill. And we know he is a close confidant of Oshomole. Could it be that there is a secret about Oshomole he knows? He wants to spill it out to the public. And if this happens, this will totally be the end of Oshomole. In fact, the man said if he releases this kind of worm, that he said the people of Edo State will stone Oshomole. They will stone him. He was a former speaker. So I'm looking at it. I know by guess by guessing. You get it may be this man is aware of divergence of funds that Oshomole have actually carried out because Oshomole was governor of a those states. It could be there is a fund that have been stashed somewhere, looting of fund. He has uncovered looting of fund under Oshomole. That is what I believe this man wants to say, and he's going to expose and display the kind of one we are waiting to see. He said he's going to lead a massive protest across the 36 states of the federation so we are waiting to see and this protest i bet you is going to have the backing of all apc governors i tell you because a lot of them do not like oshimole why they don't like him is because of what oshimole have done to their fellow governors look at uh this guy he was an apc governor's chairman uh, uh, i mean uh, uh, rocha Sokorocha. Look at how the way Oshomole dealt with him. Look at the way Oshomole dealt with uh, Ibikule Amosu. You get another governors. They had him to sus they suspended this former Bauchi state governor, who was a governorship chairman, not just a PC governorship chairman, Nigerian Governors Forum chairman. He was a, I've forgotten his name, I'm trying to remember his name. Oshomole had him suspended. So the Oshomole, you know, he had a dictatorial tendency that a lot of people do not like. So that is why they are actually fighting him. So we are waiting to see what do you think could be. We can only just guess and just peep into what this man is trying to say. Ajuto. Ajuto. We are trying to look at what he, he means. That Alaji Kabira Ajuto is the name of the man. He wants to spill the can of worm. What do you think could be the can of worm? We can only guess. And your guess, guess station may be correct. What do you think to me? I feel that this man have uncovered you know phones that Oshomole have stolen you get that he wants to spill that kind of one he said if he reveals it the people of Edo state will stone Oshomole you know that people of Edo state being connected with with that kind of one you know that he has to do with the state he has to do with the state so what do you guys think drop your comment below let me know what you think about this